Hey guys, it's Proper Plays, and today I'm making a custom chair. Um, I'm kind of going off a win, but I've been making masks for months now, and I'm about to make a an actual company out of masks. But today, what I'm going to do is I have our squares that's going to go on the top and the bottom of the cushion. I got to cut this in half. This is a this is a pattern that I have way too much of. Here's all my patterns. And this is the chair I chose. It's from Walmart. It's only a $10 chair. You know, it folds up, easy to use. This is my little area that I use for, you know, whatever. But, um, those are the masks that I make. But, either way, um, my plan is, is this is 14 by 14. These are the cushions I want to use. Pretty much, that's the top and bottom of the cushion and then I'm gonna line the sides with a black felt so the sides will be black and the tops and bottoms can be flipped up and down and then here's my measurements so it's four inches high and six inches wide so I have to make a four inch by 16 cut four times because I have to do it on all sides and I have to cut and then the way you sew these together is you have to sew them in backwards to make an invisible seam so and then on top of that my final product I'd like to have it to where um, there's like two flaps on both sides and either way you go you can zip it in the middle to hold it onto the chair and I might like to eventually make a back for this too but you know baby steps we're gonna start with the seat first so let's get right. do it so now that we have them both cut out I'm going to iron them to flatten them out and mm -hmm. then I'll see you after that all right so we got them all cut out this is what it should look like you got four sides you know for the the edge of the thing and then you got your top and your bottom. So now what you want to do is you're going to corner up your corners and you're going to use these little pins like so. So when we're sewing, it keeps a straight line all the way across, which is when this comes in handy. So let's go ahead and I'll get back to you when I'm done putting these on. All right, so I got the first one. This is what I mean. And you wanna make sure these are facing that way because when you put it through, this side's gonna come through when you're sewing it. And you wanna be able to pull these out without a problem. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do that uh, for each of the sides. And then I'm gonna keep on, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sew this first one, show you that, and then start doing the rest of them. And then eventually we'll have to sew this on and then this. All right, I'll see you soon. All right guys, so once you get the side sewn, which you want to have this face sewn to this side, so when you flip it, voila, no seam. You don't see no seam. Also, what I've gone and done is on most of these, I've already sewn the corners, so why don't we start connecting the other part that looks like this, because this is what we're gonna be sitting on, right? Well, this needed to be sewn, but you don't want to seam. So with this, I have one corner that I haven't done. So well, two corners technically. What you do is you take the side that you got to fold these inwards. Pretty much sew them like this. So the seam is on this side and not on this side. So when you fold it, it'll look exactly like this and it'll be out so once we get all these put together then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna start sewing this side well we're not gonna flip this over we're gonna leave this like this and then we're gonna sew this in and then we're gonna leave it a little opening and flip it so this pattern will be on the outside and all the seams will be on the inside and then we'll take that and put it into here. But I've never done this. This is literally me just doing this once. So I'll show you what happens next. 
Alright guys, so it's a little bit of time later, and I finished the pillow. This is a cushion for uh, my chair, and pretty much it just sits in between. My chair, it just sits right there, and to give you some depth on the size, like look how big it is. The chair is only that big, but the cushion is that big. It's very comfortable. So, the part that you guys missed on the video was after you get the sides all sewed together, you want to leave one side open and push the cotton, the uh, thick memory foam stuff that I had, put it in there, and then there will be one side left. And pretty much you'll have to, there's many videos on YouTube, but you'll do an invisible stitch. And that's how this got stitched all the way across. And now that's a DIY pillow. It cost maybe like 10 bucks and it's really comfortable. And I could have paid, you know, 40 to get one at Walmart, you know, just to sit on. But this is perfect size for my chair. I made it custom just because I wanted it. And then I'm thinking about making a back cushion as well that would literally just slip onto the back of the chair so when I sit on it, it doesn't hurt my back. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, if you like any DIY videos, I'll continue. Uh, maybe next time I'll show you to make one of my masks. Anyways, peace!